So we recently had a project come up that mm -hmm. was outside of the box for us, mm -hmm. more than just the common door contacts, window contacts, and motion detectors. Um, they had to do with seismic detectors, so it's definitely worth a conversation. So tell us you know, what the application was and what it looked like. So we had a, an end user that was going to be renting out space in a commercial building. This particular end user happened to have a pretty high threat level. They were very worried about uh, break-ins. They were very worried about intrusion. And they were sharing space with other companies that had a much lower threat against them. They, they were much less worried about their security and therefore they were going to have a much less intense level of electronic security measures. Okay. So the worry was that if there was a crew of professionals out there that really, really, really wanted to hit this particular end user, then what they might do is break into one of the uh, adjourning uh, end users, uh, one of the adjourning tenants and break into a place that had less security or you know almost no security mm -hmm. and they would uh, th they could then break their way into the highly secure area by chopping holes in the walls in between them right so they had um this is a, a long building with lots of different tenants in it and lots of different people in it and if you could just cut open a padlock, you can get inside one of the tenants areas. So what does that have to do with seismic detectors? So the solution that we came up with was to mount uh, seismic detectors, a row of seismic detectors on the sheared wall. Seismic detector would have detected any attempts at um, chopping a hole, cutting a hole, hitting with a sledgehammer, breaking with uh, chisels it would have detected any attempt at uh, smashing the wall in between the low security area and the high security area because this was a large building. Obviously, we already had sensors around all the doors, so it would have detected anybody coming in through any of the entrances, but it was a very large building. It was a very challenging to cover the whole interior space with motion detectors or even with ceiling mounted and curtain mounted motion detectors. So in the event that somebody would have broken into the space next door and smashed a hole through the through the sheared wall uh, in order to get whatever it is that this particular end user is protecting, we would have detected that early. We would have detected that before they would have gotten through that shared wall. I originally thought that a seismic detector was for earthquakes, so this is good mm -hmm. information. <laughs> and so seismic, uh, seismic waves are actually the energy generated by vibrations. So if you hit a wall, if you hit a cinder block wall with a sledgehammer really hard, you, a human won't notice that vibration, but our seismic detectors definitely will notice that vibration. So what we did was we mounted a line of seismic detectors with interlocking uh, detection fields. So if anybody would have smashed a hole through that wall, started smashing a, a hole through that wall, one of the seismic detectors would have picked that up. So this is good information, good to know mm -hmm. that we have lots of ways to solve different issues and applications that people have. And yeah, if anybody ever needs us, they can always give us a call at uh, support at .com. We love custom solutions like this. We love uh, thinking outside of the box and coming up with new ways of protecting life and property. So they can always give us a call. I'm happy to do site surveys or uh, bill of materials or you know, product recommendations over the phone by email.